and then we'll go boom. Look at this board, baby! Dude, this deck is so dumb. Okay, I forgot I even had the Frost Lotus Seedling in my freaking deck. Uh, we love to see this. We're actually gonna keep it because we only run one now, so I think it's worth it. Uh, having two of these is also pretty sick. The problem is if we draw Califero, then this is kind of useless. But this is why we only run one, because if we draw Califero, we don't want to use this, because we don't want to draw the other minions. But if we don't draw Califero, we can play this at whatever point. Lifebinder's Gift is pretty sick. I can reduce the cost of these. I'm pretty happy reducing the cost of the cards in my hand right now. I could even reduce it on turn three and hope to draw like one more card. And then just like draw a bunch. I think that might be better, but we'll see. I don't know if I want to just use it right away. I don't think I will though. I think I'll wait a turn. Solar Eclipse is so good. Holy moly, this hand is great. As long as we can draw some ramp, let me tell you, we're gonna go nuts. I'm gonna single-handedly make Priest positive win rate again. <laughs> Dude, look, Control Priest is actually really good. Control Priest is genuinely very, very good. I'll st I stand by that, I think it's a very good deck. Does it have its fair share of issues? Yeah, but I mean, if you run two Dirty Rats, Theotar, Whirlpool, and a couple of other things, you can play around a lot of things that the opponent could do. And you can beat a lot of things. The only problem with Priest, other than the fact that it's unfun, is the fact that the games take forever. The games take so long, dude. Even though I'm not a fan of Warrior right now, I will at least say that Warrior decks even though they're controlled, at least the games end in the in like 10 to 15 minutes at most. Priest can go on for like 30. It can go on. It's to the point now where if I see a priest, I just auto concede. That might be why priest has a high win rate because people just insta concede when they see it. See, we don't want to draw this. This is fucking awful. Please stop drawing me the cards that I don't want to draw. If you could just draw me the cards that I want to draw, that would be way, way, way better. So please, do me a solid. Don't draw the Stonebrook General. Please. I'm begging you, please. I have a Sunwell and Forest Seedlings, okay. Still looking for some sort of ramp. We got Nourish. I can play Aquatic Form, which will also make it so that way I won't draw. Okay, hold on. This means I don't need to play Pendant of Earth. Which is good. That actually is good. We'll take that. We, we're not going to draw it, but we gain a lot of armor. We're going to go coin this, this. Gain four mana. Mm, was that correct? I'm gonna say it was. I do think that it was correct. Even if I'm able to, son of a bitch, dude. Doesn't matter though. Get shit on, kid. That is an 8-8. Eight eight. Are you just gonna concede, buddy? Just concede. Or not, you don't have to concede. You can see what I'm about to do to you. Bear witness, friends, to what is about to happen. This guy is like, what the heck? From stick up? Are you gonna kill him? No way you kill him. Eh, you can't kill him, but it's gonna be inefficient. So, hmm, this and this each give me one with Geppetto. Not Geppetto. Califero, same thing. So we draw him, which is sick. Do I wanna double activate Nourish? What do I do? with a double activated nourish. I'm gonna overdraw, but I don't think it matters as long as it's not the general, but if I was gonna draw the general, I lose anyway. So this is fine. I don't get another way to summon minions, which is definitely unfortunate, but Deathborn could be solid. Deathborn could make this very, very interesting. I don't know, dude. I don't know if that was correct. Also, it was pretty bad other than Deathborn. Same stream? It is the same stream. 
I decided to change decks and just have a good time. Dark throw? Oh, you're going that deck. Oh. Oh, no. My hand is overstuck. That's a pretty good card to lose. It's a pretty good card. I'm kind of sad I lost it. After I take damage. Uh, um. The problem is this will die. Oh dear. This is maybe okay. No, it's not. Oh my God, dude. I'll play this, see what I get. We get a rush minion, which actually isn't bad. Do you see damage? Would wipe his board. Which isn't terrible. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I could still draw the general. I mean, it's a 1 in 15, 1 in 13 chance because we know what the bottom two cards are. I was hoping to get another thing that summoned two minions. I don't want to play him and just summon three. I feel like three isn't enough is the problem. <sighs> but it'll be fine. Honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I think summoning three is definitely still better than nothing as long as I don't draw it next turn. Or I can still top deck forest seedlings or living roots. Oh. All right. I mean, I can kill it and get some uh, volatile skeletons and tr risk another turn. Which I might do. Oh my gosh, it's so risky. We get Lifebinder's Gift, which is, again, pretty solid. So that's one, two, or it's six. All right, it's one, two, seven, eight. I take damage, but I actually don't think it matters that much. Deal two, hit that, play Deathborn. And I'll pop off next turn. I know I'm waiting a long time, but It's gonna be close. And this way I'm able to even play more minions with the cactus. I think it's correct to do this, even if it's kind of greedy. I think it's correct. I think it's correct. 2 a.m. So I'm gonna go to bed. Well, I'm gonna go to bed after this stream actually, or after this game, regardless of what happens. But this deck has been incredibly fun. I'm glad that I took the time to play and I'm glad that I stopped playing like super try hard and I just decided to take a break and have fun. Please leave one of them alive. Don't kill all of them. There's no reason to kill all of them. Oh no. I just need to hope he doesn't randomly generate something insane. And I need to not draw the Stoneborn General. It's a 1 in 12. It's a 1 in 12. It's risky, but I think it's fine. Oh, God. Sometimes this deck combos really early, and sometimes it takes a minute to get all the pieces. Good night, Ruben. Leave my 2-2 two -two alive. Is this a beast? It's an elemental beast. And then you get that, uh, but it's okay. We get to have one more minion, which is super sick. And we get ya yeah boy. So that's one, two, three, four. Boom. Then we do this for one and it still costs zero, which is great. doesn't really matter what I get, but I guess I'll get a secret because secrets can be really annoying. And then we'll go boom. Look at this board, baby! Dude, this deck is so dumb. Like, if he doesn't have Reno, or a way of wiping the board two entire times, I just win. This is disgusting when it works. Some, you know, it works sometimes. It, it, it falls apart other times. It's fine. I do think that there's probably cards that are better than Rag. Rag is interesting and can sometimes get you lethal. And nobody say Invincible. Invincible, look, it needs to have an immediate impact on the board, okay? 
And if it doesn't have an immediate impact on the board, Invincible's cool. And if I'm in a winning position, could be insane. But this deck's never in a winning position. Gear shift, okay. What do you do for one mana? You got one mana left, my friend. What do you do for one freaking mana? Nothing, because I have a board of 8-8s with death rattles that summon even more 8-8s. We have Calypro in our opening hand once a freaking again. Uh, we don't necessarily want to keep both of these. It says that they're good, but I can tell you right now they are not because you want to try to draw your better cards. I also don't necessarily want to keep Calypro, and apparently I'm not supposed to keep this either. I would rather just try to find better cards um, that draw and get me to the ramp that I want. Nourish is good. I mean, honestly, this is fine. This into that is fine. And I can play this to fight for board a little bit early, just, just to have some pressure on the board. It's good to use in order to get little dudes, but if we don't get it, it's fine. Dude, what the heck? Life bond? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Uh, this is actually a really good card because I can play it along with Calypro to get two extra tokens, possibly. Ooh, the other one would have been better, though, because it's a 1-1 one, one with a death rattle, but then the other one would have been worse. The problem is if I commit to this this soon, I think I can wait a turn. Because I'll play it. I want to save the coin, I think. So I'll play this next turn. Hopefully I have one extra spell. And then I'll play this on four. And then I'll double activate this on five. Dude. This deck is so stupid. I just need to find um, Pendant of Earth. You know what? Maybe I should keep Calepero. Because in my head, I'm like, oh, if I get Pendant of Earth or Aquatic Form, like I'll just be able to find it. But that's not always the case. I think I need to keep Calypro a little bit more aggressively, but I don't know a lot about this deck. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Are you kidding? This is disgusting. Do I coin this out? So I play this next turn and I go to five, six, seven. Then I double activate that, but I want to have this in my hand on that turn. I'm gonna say, yeah, we do. I think it's, I think it's correct. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong about that. That could have been a bit of an aggressive move, but I just wanna make sure I have Calypro because there's a world where I can just pop off on turn 10 or on 10 mana. Like it doesn't matter what he does really. I'm pretty sure I can just go crazy. That's fine. I take damage, I don't really care. This is the best. Embrace of nature, unfortunately, isn't really what I want here. No, wait, I could, I didn't need to coin it. I didn't need to coin it because I would have had this. But now this can maybe draw me living roots and it's better. Okay, that's better. Okay, sure. It was a little, it was a little scuffed, I'll admit. Uh, that, my friend, is a good card. But you want to know what's even better? Uh, in two turns, I'm going to kill your ass. Uh, we go to 10 mana here. And now we win the game next turn. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, this is so dumb. Like, okay, sure, you're able to kill off one or two things here. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Maybe summon a whole buttload of Stoneborn Generals? Ever heard of them? They're kind of broken ass cards. Chat is not on the screen. Oh no, I can't believe I turned you guys off. I didn't mean to. No, not the bound soul. Oh shit. Yeah, it's, it should still be fine. I think it should still be fine. Uh, poisonous death rattle, kill all enemies. I think that doesn't matter with Stoneborn General because I'm gonna have so many minions, it doesn't matter. Like, he's able to kill it, but they should all come back. And if I had Rag, I would just win. Uh -huh. 
This is really annoying. Uh, this will go here. And then I hero power, and then I'll kill that off, I guess. And then we'll do this. We'll get the generals. And like, yeah, the death rattle sucks. But several of them should still live. Like, even if the death rattle goes off, I still get like eight eight eights. And I can play another one. That was a really smart move to go for the runic sword, but I don't think that he can outplay this. I don't think that he can, because he can't even play Reno right now, but I've been I've been wrong before. No. Wait. Wait, what are you doing? No way! No way you have the card! No way you have the one card! No fucking way! Oh my gosh, he's gonna make them all die. Okay, his hand is mostly empty at this point, and he already attacked me. Holy shit, he actually did it. This guy's incredible. This guy might be the best player to ever touch this game. Holy shit, he actually killed them all. So, uh, what's my win condition now? What's my win condition now is the question. I guess Rag? Because I know what he just forged, but this does just eight damage to his face right away, which is not bad. I mean, it's, it's fine. If I had gotten Rag, I win. Oh, he had the removal. That's so cringe, dude. That's so fucked. I can't believe he did it. I can't believe he had the spells required to win the game. What the heck? Okay, that's gone now. He draws three cards. I don't really care. I'm now gonna do this plus this, and then hopefully find some way of winning. What could you give me? Uh, Armor's not bad, but I like armor. What do you give me? Anything good, perhaps? Reduce the cost of everything. Fell Barrage, Chaos Strike, Chaos Nova. Let's discover a dragon, I guess. Um, Deathwing sounds fun. Some of these. Let's, uh, let's heal up. And then that'll do damage to his face, I guess. I don't think I had lethal. Wait, did I? Oh, he's at seven? That's four plus... No, I had lethal. I had lethal, I had lethal, I had lethal. We're not gonna talk about it. This plus... I... I don't know why I can't do math. I don't know why I can't do math. It's extended BM, okay? That's what it is. It's extended BM. I'm going for maximum damage. I can't believe I'm gonna lose this game. If I die here, I deserve it. Oh my gosh, dude. I still don't think he kills me with momentum. I should have killed him there, I'll be honest. I had four plus three damage, but I was like, I don't want to take fatigue damage. Holy shit, I actually lose. No, we already played both Dispose of Evidences. Momentum plus momentum plus the other thing is not lethal. Oh my gosh, did I throw? Oh my gosh, this plus this is, it would have been lethal. Oh. I mean, 17 damage is not enough to kill me, but he should not have even been in the game. Dude. That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. You know what? I was extended BM. I let him think he had a chance. Um, okay. So this matchup already not looking too good, but could also be nuts. So I'm, I'm basically looking for nourish. I don't think I want to keep life binders. No, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. If I find any sort of ramp at all, having this mana cheat's kind of insane. This is a good card to have too. If we don't have nourish on turn five, we can do this plus this and then hopefully find a crystal cluster and then go crazy with that. Holy dude. What a weird deck. I'm, I'm actually, I love this deck. I think it's super fun. 
Good night, good night, my friend. Sorry I got um, mirror match, no shot. Aquatic form, we're not gonna play it. We're just gonna kill that off. So, okay, I need to pop off before he gets his big board of dragons. Already not looking great though. Already not looking too spicy, I'm gonna be honest. Does he get the, uh, what does he get? Oh no. Oh no. What are you doing, man? I'm getting trolled out here. I drew rag, which is not optimal. I play this. What I could do is I could play this first. But I don't want to do that. Oh my gosh, so much stuff on board already. Goodness gracious. This is greedy, but I'm gonna do it. Give me nourish. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we hit the nourish. Okay, so we actually have a win condition now, which is great. Possibly. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'll have enough mana to fully pull it off, though, is the problem. I don't know. But I also don't think that I'm even close to being dead yet. Place to remember. Oh, do you have another ramp card? Oh, that's good, but it's not good enough, I don't think, sir. No, sir. Not good enough. That's really good. Um, we're gonna go boom. We got another nourish and an embrace of nature. We don't get the crystal cluster, which is not great. Uh, let's reduce the cost of everything here. I should have gone aquatic form first. Oh shoot, I could have gone aquatic form first. I could have found crystal cluster. That would have been really good. I can play it next turn. All right, uh, so what exactly is my play here? How do I not die? Cause that's kind of important. So I do have one more turn before I die. I might have one more turn before I die. I might also just straight up die though. Okay, uh, we, oh my gosh, you have to this. Oh my gosh. Look, his board is huge, but I'm a, I will get a bigger board. Don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It looks bad. It looks worse than it is. Stop drawing me the cards that I want. Oh my gosh. If I draw the Stoneborn General, I just, like, I lose the game, no? Wait, what? Why didn't I, wait, why am I at six? Wait, what? I'm confused. Why am I at six mana and not at eight? Wait, am I dumb? Wait, why? Bravo to you. Time is running out. I mean, this is fine as long as I don't draw the other general. Okay, we don't draw the other general. How striking. I'm so confused. Wait, why? I spend the four mana and then I should have gained two back, no? Is that not how that works? Am I dumb? Give the poor lad a chance? Look, man, he needs to give me a chance. I'm getting shit on right now. I just need, okay, if I draw the Stoneborn General, I lose and I need to just hope that I don't draw him next turn because that would make me very sad. That would make me incredibly sad. That would make me a sad boy. And I don't want to be a sad boy. I want to be a happy boy. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Just let me be a happy boy. Don't draw him, please, I'm begging you. Okay, thank goodness. So if I go boom into boom, that gives me the most minions, I think. Oh dear. Oh my God, they're gonna be huge. Holy shit, they're gonna be massive. Um, okay. If I just do this plus this, is that better or worse? I think that's worse, honestly.
Because I wouldn't have had to waste my fucking funnel cake. I'm actually pissed. I'm actually pissed off that that didn't work. Oh my god, $100. Oh my goodness gracious, you are... What the hell was even that? I know it's frustrating sometimes your videos are uh, life, bro. The way you explain your game is lit. Keep entertaining us with your awesome personality and knowledge for the game. My god. Jeez Louise. You're too kind, my friend. You are too kind. Can I kill him this turn? I think I can kill him. I just need these three to connect. I just need four to connect. Uh, it's not really doable, I don't think. Boom. If I have 24, no, it's lethal. It's just lethal. No, it is lethal. I'm trolling. It is lethal. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. We go boom, because he only has rush. And then the six will go face. And then boom, boom. And then that is exact lethal. Dude, what the hell is this deck even? How is this deck winning? I've won more with this deck than like actual meta decks. I'm trying to think if I love this hand or I hate it. I love the frost lotus. I think I'm gonna take damage. So I think it's just this on three, this on four when it's upgraded, and then this on five, because he's probably gonna apply at least a decent amount of pressure to me. So I think it's just three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have literally everything we could ever want except token summoning, which we can draw later. You here for the tour? But this is fine. We hero power, we'll kill the one one. Actually, I don't think I wanna give him corpses. I don't think I want to give him corpses. Mm, maybe I could have killed him. Ugh. Okay. Seven, eight. I mean, on turn eight, we double activate this and we just win. So can't really deal with that. What shall I do? You've gone too far. I should have killed the 1-1 one, one off first, I guess. I mean, I guess it didn't really matter. And now I gave him a corpse. I don't know. We get to play that, though, which is nice. And then we play Nourish. And then we double activate the Taunt. And I think he's not applying enough pressure for me to actually lose. But I've been wrong before. So he drew Calipero, which actually means we don't even really need to play that. Cactus Construct. This gives me a two drop that I can play. I do like the armor that that can give me. So I'll do this to gain two and then play this for a little bit of armor just to keep me alive a little bit. That's a really good two drop to generate actually. I love that. Yeah, he'll gain a lot of mana or he'll gain a lot of um, HP, but what are you gonna do, you know? Forest Seedling is amazing. Uh, boom, two mana crystals. Then we're gonna go boom. Then we're able to double activate this and get four, three, seven taunts. And then uh, hopefully not die. It's fine. I'm No, it's okay. Two living roots is fantastic. Double activate this. Several three sevens, and then we're gonna have this, this, and Calipero. There is a world where we could get a slightly bigger board, but I don't really wanna risk it, so it's not worth it in my opinion. If he wants to play the one guy that gives poisonous, he doesn't have the board space, so he's gonna have to kill off some of his minions. But also he's gained so much max HP, it's crazy. All right. Oh, they each gain three attack or two attack, which is pretty spicy. They're able to kill off at least one or two things with just that. Okay. They are able to kill off most of it, I think. The four eight hits that, the five four hits one of them and doesn't even die. And then I think 
one of them lives. If one of them lives, we're happy. Unless he wants to trade in a whole bunch of times, in which case he can, I guess, if he wants to. But I'd rather kill the 5-1 lifesteal or the guy that gives him HP. Wait, what? So it's going to be boom. 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 Hero power. Kill this. And then play you. Nice. Awesome turn six play. Holy shit. Can he wipe this board? Hit the 5-4, please. Thank you. Either all of them hit his face or don't. Dude, this deck is disgusting. I, I, I hate that it works. And I hate that my win rate with it is pretty decent. I've been learning and I lost a lot of games at the start, for sure. Do you have Reno? No, you don't have Reno. The, the Primus is annoying, but like, it's not that big of a deal. I just play rag number two. Of life. I just play rag number two and it's lethal, no? Stoneborn General actually doesn't die to this thing, so it'll hit one, two. You ain't seen the last of me. But then these all hit face, and then that also goes face. No, yeah, it's it's just GG. Sweet. All right. I don't think I want to keep Calipero in my hand, actually. It's weird, but I don't think that I want to keep it. Cost. Apparently I do keep it and it's like my best card. Holy shit. <laughs> but in my head, I want to draw it off of um, the other card, right? I want to draw off of, what's it called? The one that heals me, the the three mana one. Pendant of Earth, no? Eh, maybe I'm wrong. We forge this, we'll play it, and then we'll play this, and then we'll reduce the cost, and we'll play a bunch of things, and everybody's happy. I just need to not get rushed down in like two or three turns. Oh, holy shit. Uh, we are uh, cooking. We are currently chefs in the kitchen and we're gonna go crazy. Do I wanna play Lifebinder's Gift and then Embrace of Nature or Embrace of Nature and then this? Nah, we have to do this first. I don't know why I even thought about it. That's just easy peasy. Let me do this and refresh and then we do this and then we do this. And then we do this and we then we win. Easy peasy. Lemon Squeezy! As long as you don't like randomly generate a twisting nether, we're gonna go nuts! Uh, I can reduce the cost of these things twice, which I th think is pretty good. Reduce the cost of the spells in your hand by one. So. I guess what I can do next turn is this and that. And let's just gain 10 armor. Pretty nice. Chattered Reflections is okay. I mean, we can go Solar Eclipse. I mean, okay, it's fine, but. Shiny. Maybe I just do this and then I'll play Solar Eclipse with the Crystal Cluster the following turn, but for now we just chill. Cause he's not applying that much pressure to me. Thaddeus could also be good. Wait, okay, Thaddeus, you might have a point. I summon Thaddeus from my deck with Califero. And I'm able to play as many odd cost cards as I want for free, basically. Imagine. Okay with this. I could play this, or I could wait until next turn and get a bunch of taunt minions, which I think is better. Let's see who's at the bottom. Any minions at the bottom? Okay, you're at the bottom. I like Funnel Cake, though. Wait. Three, this goes to six. And then I just go boom, boom. And then I pop off anyway. 
And now I'm at 10 mana with three, three sevens. Dude, what the fuck? He has five mana, I have 10. This is insane. We're not, I'm not putting an invincible. If invincible had taunt, I could run invincible. The problem is you have to run something with immediate pressure on the board. Ragnaros can do damage and win the game. Stoneborn general can, well, rush in and, and he has big death rattles. He's a big boy. The problem is, the problem is if I play invincible and I'm low on HP when I play Clifero, he can just kill me. If I could give invincible rush somehow, maybe or if it had taunt already on it i could use it easy peasy lemon squeezy wouldn't even be a question we'd have a ton of reborn giant taunt minions with death rattle it would be amazing the problem is invincible sucks ass and does not give itself taunt um so it's kind of rough i wonder what they did they might have left uh, if I were them, I might have I might have rage quit at this point. I would like to. Oh, they didn't. Holy shit! Wait, they're actually going for it. You don't have time. You don't have time. No. Uh, let's hit first, sorry. Um, let's kill, go face, and then... Dude, imagine we get rag right here. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid! This is the stupidest deck I've ever seen in my life! It's so awesome! This is so dumb! It's tar- he has five mana, dude! What the hell is even this? Oh my gosh, I think this is game. I might be off by one rag. No, it's just game. This is the stupidest thing! Oh, this is, this is the worst, but also the best. Holy shit.